Hey folks, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and yes, we are playing the new Animal Crossing game called, uh, well, it's called Animal Crossing's New Horizons. And uh, I'm your host, Smith. Let's get into the game here. We're playing on our Nintendo Switch, and as you can see, it's the limited Animal Crossing edition. And so we're just going to have a lot of fun here. I will be uh, narrating, I guess, for you, and uh, really trying to see what all the hype is about um i don't traditionally play these games i will let you know that but um i know a little bit about them so let's see how this goes okay and this is timmy talking welcome to the checkout counter for your deserted island getaway package there is so much to look forward to but first let's introduce ourselves i'm timmy with nook inc and I'm Tommy. So we have Timmy and Tommy. We'll be flying the island with you to get you settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. Well, thanks, because I do need that. Uh, so let's get started, shall we? Yes, we shall. Now then, we will need to look up your application. Can we have your birthday, your name and birthday? Okay. Smith, yeah, Smith, Smith, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Smith. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. Okay, some customization going on here. We will be ready when you are. You are. Why did it say that twice? Okay. Let's see. So... Uh, yep and hairstyles let's choose a color first have black hair yeah uh, a nice little curly style or just a straight even even all around you know let me say we are in quarantine right now i don't know this will probably be on the internet forever so when you watch this uh, you can think back to when the whole world was quarantined. So I may go with this hairstyle just because that's how I might be looking in a couple of weeks when I can't go to the barber. Um, but this is my traditional hairstyle. Uh, I don't know. Um, that one, he's got a nice fade and some curls and whatnot. I think I will actually go for this one right now. And let's see. So eyes, eyes. How should my eyes look? Um, maybe some kind of spooky eyes or some droopy eyes. How about these? Uh, let's see. What were those first ones that actually I started out on? These looks like he's very surprised, but that's not too bad. Let's see. Change the eye color here. Um. Or these kind of almond shaped eyes I think my eyes in real life are actually more like one of these but I did like the little what appears to be um, eyebrows right there so we may go with this for now I don't want to hold you guys up too long all right and my nose so let's just make it like that oh and I like this here so let's see Let's try another pair of eyes. That's that's kind of um, clever. Clever. I almost said the word cute, but we're not gonna we're not gonna say the word cute. Or this one. How about this one? Cause yeah, I think that one looks good. Okay. So what else is that? It. Uh, what are they saying? Cheeks. No, we won't do the cheeks. And let's confirm. And here we are, guys. It's Smith. In Animal Crossing everything does look okay great you're all set all set I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records and now let's start talking about your new home so exciting exciting you see we're quite proud of the work that you've done uh, to help you feel comfortable in your new life oh yes in fact if you want you can even experience the seasons the same way you used to 
or you're used to them. Uh, what I mean is we have, oh, islands in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. I guess I'm actually in the northern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Smith, where do you live now? Wow, that's kind of intrusive. Um, let's just say North America. Ah, excellent. That's, that information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you locate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but that does sound okay so far. Yes, so okay. Northern Hemisphere, very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands on the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. You know where I did go wrong? Just referencing another game, Stardew Valley. I chose the, um, I chose a map that didn't have a lot of room space in it. I think it's like the beach, the river, the river map. It had a bunch of rivers in it. Okay, uh, just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing, and that's how you do it. I'll show you some maps, and you can choose. This is a lot of reading in this game. Is this typical? Someone let me know in the comments. Okay, um, let's go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. That will be our island. Wonderful choice, choice. I guess the other guy like echoes or something like that, and they see it say a lot of words twice ah but before we depart we have one final question for you if you could only bring one thing to a deserted island what would it be what would it be um a sleeping bag a lamp some food something to kill time um probably something to kill time because i can kill animals for food a lamp maybe a lamp though but that seems kind of boring sleeping bag I can sleep anywhere so let's just say something to kill time just to see what they're going to give me is this something they're gonna give me in the game oh I'm sorry that was just a hypothetical question okay Nook Inc will fully cover all your basic needs yes yes okay it took a little bit too long on that and that was just hypothetical your attention please this is a service announcement the chartered flight for Nuke, Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Oh, that's me. All right, guys. Gotta go. Gotta catch the plane. Perfect timing. Let's get on the plane together. Don't you guys work here, though? That's a little weird. Are these guys gonna come along? Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook's deserted getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about the deserted island life. All right, so this is kind of like a uh, infomercial. Some ooh, that is an ugly bug. Is it? What is that? And a couple of folks just hanging out, fishing, having fun. The animals there. The guy with green hair. Uh, folks from the southern hemisphere, I presume, in the snow, and just chilling out, watching shooting stars. That's what we hope to do. And here are all of our friends taking pictures it's uh kind of reminds you of a 1970s sitcom type of deal going on or, or the 80s or 90s all right guys i think we are finally ready to embark that was the intro 10 minutes into the video so hopefully you're still watching and here we are, folks. Our plane is uh, approaching the runway. And that looks like um, 
a place that we will be visiting here pretty soon. We've got apples. Are those apples? They look like apples. Okay. Ah, here I am. Hey, check out that outfit, by the way. That's, that's a pretty good starting outfit. You know, that's something that, you know, it's not just a t-shirt or whatever. Oh, I'm supposed to be reading. Uh, would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza. Our fearless leader himself will give the presentation, so I hate for you to miss it. All right, let's go. We're heading there right now. If you'd like uh, to move, follow us. Yes, I know how how to navigate. Thanks, Timmy and Tommy. All right, oh, uh, you first. So what do we got here? We got apple trees? Apple trees, I like apples. What kind of apples are these, I wonder? Are these Fuji apples? Are they um, Envy apples? My favorite apples. Um, all right, here's the guy. Oh, let me give him some space here. All right, what's his name again? Papa Nook? I don't know. Uh, do I have to do something? Speak. Oh, I have to have to hit a button. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Yep. Is Canberra here? Who is that? How about Mac? Oh, these are my island partners here. And of course, there's Smith. So Canberra and Mac. Funny thing is, I used to live close to a street called Canberra. Uh, great. We're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. So, you guys are going to be rolling with me, huh? Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day... Uh, first day... Wait. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So, congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes, I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It is the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like for you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. All right, folks, uh, where is my tent, Timmy? Here you go, Smith. Thank you. Your very own tent. Oh, well, thanks. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory and place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making a final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding out a space that works for you. You got it, buddy. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. Yes, please. Alright. Once you've put your tent, once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use the map if you need it. Okay. Well, off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Okay, so let's explore here. I need to find a place with um, a lot of room. Let's see what's over here. A lot of trees right there. Um, let's just kind of explore here. There's a lot of space right here. This is a lot of space right over here. Um, this whole area right there might be kind of nice. Let's see what else is around. And we got the beach. Probably don't want to live on the sand. Want to have a solid foundation in some in some uh, dirt here. Okay. Let's see. So here's a clearing up here. Um. So this is also a nice little spot, but it's kind of kind of secluded. It is. It's not bad. 
and you know you kind of elevate it here a little bit overlooking the river and uh, right as the beach transitions into a river so that might be kind of nice um, let me go back to that other spot though so let's see is this another nope this is this is kind of a yes eh, not enough room there um, okay so let's see I was thinking either here or was it nope oh that's somewhere different actually so that's not where I was thinking it was a clearing it was like right here so it could be like either here um you know I think I'll choose I think I'll choose this place right here now let's see the question is should it be close should it uh, just right here because this kind of seems like a nice place for a house but I would like to be close to the trees so let's see here's my tent uh, build let's back up a little bit right uh, right in line with this right here let's see I'm gonna grab my tent and let me let me scoot over a little bit scoot over a little bit just a little because I'm I, I got a feeling I might want like a garden or something so I want to have some space um, yeah that's that's pretty nice I think let's see it says let me imagine this let me imagine my tent right here what do you guys think is this a good spot you got your trees in the background um, you've got the river right there get you some fresh air I think we'll go with it we won't spend too much time on little things like that all right uh, my guy is happy I set up my tent. That's a big first step. You got it, buddy. All right. So now what? I guess I go back and I talk to Tom Nook. Oh, they're still waiting. That's so patient. Patiently waiting. All right, Nook. Uh, guess what? Ah, oh, Smith. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent. Hmm. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Oh, you know what? Is that why that other guy was standing there? I don't want him moving too close to me. Hey, buddy. Uh, Mac. Yo, I'm Mac. You're Smith, right? Nice to meet. Nice to meet you, woof. Woo uh, yeah, same here. Nice. Nice lashes? Are those eyelashes you got? Okay, uh, you already set up your tent. I'm trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so I gotta have a lot of fresh air. Oh, is that right? I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. Well, let's make sure you're not too close to me, because I'll be doing some stuff also. Um, I'll find you a spot. How about that? What? You'll help me find a sweet spot? Yeah, I hope you're not mad about that, because... Uh, wow, we just met and you're already doing some heavy lifting on our friendship, Smith. Yeah. Okay, can't wait to see what epic spot you pick for me. Now, it appears I'm going to be... My tin is in your hand. Yeah, you got that. All right. Uh, you, I'll be right over there. Plaza visualizing how awesome this island life is going to be. All right, buddy, thanks. Okay, anyway, now that he's out of here. um, I'm trying to see, like, should I put all these guys close together... Um, or should I give him some space? You know, he said, you know, and then you got this space right here. It might be for the other guy. We might, you know, since he says he needs some space and fresh air and whatnot, I'm going to do him a solid here and I'm going to place his tent, uh, I think right, right about Right about here, maybe. Alright. Mac, put your tent there. Now let's imagine this first. It's, it's actually... No. Let's... Let's go to the... Over here a little bit. Back a little bit more. Maybe right there. Okay. Let's try this out. Again. 
There you go. Kind of close to that tree, though. I, I don't want to put it that close to the tree. Sorry, guys. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm, uh, that's why I never get anywhere in these games. Because I spend so much time on this sort of stuff. All right. Um, okay, one more time, guys. I, I promise. All right, we'll just, we'll just put it right here. Okay, he, he'll never even notice. We'll put it right here. Yes. Uh, just in case, let me imagine it. Make sure it's not just totally not what I'm thinking. I, yeah, look, okay, we'll just go with it. We'll just go with it. He's got a different kind of tent, so it's, it's not what I was thinking, but whatever. He'll be happy. I didn't charge for my services. Hey, Mac, uh, your tent's up, buddy. Do I have to talk to you? Hey, find me a good spot? Yes, sir. You know it. Uh, those both basically say the same thing. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. Thanks, Smith. You're welcome. Wonder how that can bearer is doing. I've never met anybody named can bearer. She might as well be having much trouble and go help her. Okay. Where's she at? Where is she at? Canberra? Oh, don't make me run all the way around this place. Alright, where is she at? Was she right there standing with those guys? I don't think I saw her. Oh, that's them. Where is she at? Was she on the beach? I don't see her. She must be near the beach. She, she better not be near my house. Ah, where is this chick? Oh, there she is. Hey, girly. Ooh. Uh, you're, wait. I got it. Don't tell me. You're Smith, right? See? I had it. Told you. I'm Canberra. I gotta tell you I'm excited about this whole island thing, uh huh? Uh, you already found a great spot? Yes, I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I have trouble because every spot feels like the best spot. You know what, Canberra? Uh, I feel you. I could just sit over here thinking over and over, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay? Uh, I know there's only so far I can throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Um, yeah, let me find you a spot. Oh, for real, you're going to pick out the perfect spot for me? Yes, I am. Free of charge, also. You're all right, Smith. In that case, here you go. It's your show now. All right. She's got an interesting mug, by the way. All right. Yes, hit the plaza. Okay, let's see. I don't know if we should all be grouped up this close, but maybe we will. Kind of be a one happy family type deal. Um, we could put her right here. We could put her. And then is that kind of awkward because me and this other guy are so close? I wonder if she'll feel left out if we're all hanging out and everything. I think I'll put her kind of next to us. What do you think? Maybe I should spread them out a little bit. Okay, we'll put her right here. Right here. We'll spread them out a little bit. And... I just, I don't want to get rid of that tree. I don't know if that's possible. Because I like the apple tree. All right, how about right here? Yeah, that's good enough. Let's imagine it first. Sure, good enough. Good enough. All right. Everybody has a spot picked out for their tent now. 
I need to get back to the plaza. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you just all found the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we'll move on to some more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party, we'll have it right here at the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Oh. Timmy, Canberra, Tommy, and Mac can set things up at the plaza. Oh, I'm being singled out. Meanwhile, Smith and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Smith, would you come see me for a moment? Hmm, what's this about? What's up? Ah, Smith, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches will do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Okay, you got it. Meanwhile, I'll investigate item uh, I'll investigate the apple-like items growing on the trees. I suspect they're real apples. I think so too. All right, so yeah, I can go get some. That's an easy enough task. As a matter of fact, here is a tree. So, uh, let's see. Shake the tree. There's one branch. All right, so I guess we'll pick those up. Yes, pick them up. There's some that are already on the ground for, ooh, no, not that. Another one gonna fall, there you go. A tree branch there. There's one there. There's a, it's actually quite a few on the ground already. All right, how many do we have? That's close to 10, I think. Haven't really been keeping count. Let's see if there's some that'll, can we get two? Come on, there you go. All right, that should be kind of close if I've been estimating correctly. Yes, exactly 10. All right, let's go back. He'll be so impressed that I've come back so quickly. Here you go, buddy. Welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging tree branches. Very well, allow me to lighten your load. Here you go, buddy. All right, yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You make quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard working worker, oh ho. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. Oh, what do we got? While you're collecting tree branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seemed to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. In fact, they are 100%, without a doubt, genuine apples, so would you collect six for me? Yes, sir. Now, I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case, if you see a tree growing apples, press A to shake it and just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you have plenty of apples for us in no time. Yes, you're correct. I am the right guy for the job. Here's apple trees right here, pressing A. There are some. Pick these up. And another. Uh oh. My, oops, he keeps picking up weeds. I should have probably picked up the weeds around here. It looks like my apple just disappeared. All right, let's find, let's find, how about this one here? There you go. All right, six apples, and I'll keep two of them myself. Okay. Here you go, Tom Nook. Well, well, I knew we were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those apples off your hands and get started on the preparations. Good. 
Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a new thri uh, thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Oh-ho! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we will shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? Ah, what should we call it? A great sense of opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should name, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, name for my island. Uh, something that just popped in my head. It would be kind of a funny name. Is Crapola. Crapola Island. Yes, I'm okay with that. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Okay, we got Rackland. Awesome beat. Oh, uh, I missed them all. Alright, uh, what a splendid variety. Yes, each one a potential gem. Now, for the voting, I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the best one you think. Smith seems to have enthusiasm and naming sensibilities. You're correct. Let's start here. There. So, Smith suggested Crapola. Yes, that one's good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's an overwhelming positive response. Each one of you has clapped. I suppose, if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Crapola. Okay, it rocks. Absolutely, yes. Splendid. From then on, from then, from now on, this island will be known as Crapola. Well, Smith, since you've proven yourself by naming Crapola, I'd like to rely on you for another critical decision we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Crapola. Smith, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Uh, I will say... Howdy! Yes, they liked it. Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island and we've selected a resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand, you betcha. It's fresh juice made with apples from our new resident representative Harvard, uh, harvested on this island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Crapola and the happiness of his residents. Cheers! Okay. So now what? Oh, look at this guy. He's playing us some tunes. Oh, yeah. Having fun? I'm going to kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight. Woof. All right, cool. I feel like I'm on vacation, but we'll actually get to live here. Woof. All right, play that funky tambourine. How about you? I've never settled on an island before. Crapola? This is going to be rad, mm hmm You're right. What else? 
We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, uh huh. Yeah. How about you guys? Tommy? You handled your task perfectly. We got the campfire going. Yeah. You didn't burn the place down. Anything else, Tommy? Crapola! Crapola! Uh, yeah. What a great name. It just rolls right off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. You're welcome. How about you, big dude? Ah, Smith, having a good time? Yes. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. I think I will. We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, yeah, I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. What is it? Uh, your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Okay. Oh, and here's a few packages waiting. There are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items that may be useful. To open packages and use things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move that to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me now. Sweet dreams, Smith. Thank you, and let me check in with Timmy. Smith, I'm sure today has worn you out. Why don't you go get some well-deserved rest? All right. All right, guys. Well, oh, can I? I thought maybe I could change the radio. All right. Keep jamming, buddy. All right, let me go over here. Hopefully there's no creepy crawly things in here. Let me just go in my trusty spot. All right, so they got a couple of things for me. Let me uh, pick those up. Oh, a radio. And a lamp. I need to turn this on. There you go. And we'll listen to some tunes tonight. All right, let's see what we got here. Camping cot, place item. Oh, oh if we're gonna place it, let's make sure we place it the right place. Camping cot right there. There we go. All right. Rest my head for a little while. Yeah, rest. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, going to be night one, day one, I think. We're going to take a little rest and kind of gather ourselves and get ready for tomorrow when uh, we get to see the island in the morning and kind of hopefully they got continental breakfast here because that's what I really need. But um, hopefully you guys come back for episode two of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Check you guys out next time. Have a good night or day. Peace out.